Hey guys, we're here with Micah. What did you do this weekend? Uh, this weekend I came top 32 at YCS Sydney uh, playing PK or Adventure uh, or Horus Combo, which some people are calling it for some reason. Mm hmm. Cool. So, what were your matchups today? Uh, my matchups today, throughout Swiss, I played uh, one Flu, one Runic Naturia, and one Eldritch Stun as sort of my like rogue matchups. And then naturally I versed uh, three uh, pure snake eye and four Viking snake eye. Mm -hmm. What was your hardest matchup? Uh, hardest matchup was probably flu. Mm. It's just whilst shifter. I got yeah, it's shifter. It's just shifter. <laughs> it's just shifter. Yeah, cool. Uh, any shout outs? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout outs. Uh, starting with uh, SCDD or Floyd and Cam's Duelist Deals. Uh, great. Check them out. If you're trying to sell out of the game, they love to buy collections. Uh, and if you're trying to get collections, they're also great for that. Uh, shout outs to Good Game Strathpine. Uh, love the place, it's a great place, great community. Uh, the people that really helped me with their uh, support in this weekend. Uh, and shout outs to uh, AUSUYGO.com. Uh, it's a great online store if you guys are trying to buy some cards. Uh, so yeah. Cool, let's get right into your deck list. Easy. Uh, so we'll start with the main deck. Uh, for the main deck, we played 43 cards. Uh, for the PKs, we played uh, two Torn Scales, three uh, Boots, two Cloak, and one Ragged Gloves. With the Traps, we got three Fog Blade and one Wings. I think this is the perfect ratio. We're just trying to maximize on good discards for the uh, Horus Engine. That's why we cut this one down to two. Uh, and that's why we're not playing Stained Greaves or Shade Bringing In, just because they suck as discards. Makes sense. Cool. Uh, that was the main engine in the deck. Uh, onto the uh, Adventure Engine for the Monsters, we played uh, Enchantress and... Griffin Rider, and then we got the two rides, one Faithful and one Dracovac. Mm -hmm. This engine was really good throughout the weekend. The uh, consistent Omni Gate before five helped play through Nib. The Dracovac is a continuous uh, sort of disruption that keeps coming back on my turn. It really helped uh, get rid of the um, floodgates that I was trying to verse. Uh, so it was really good. It helps me play around Summon Limit. Mm -hmm. uh, for my uh, level three extender package, I played uh, two Terra Tops with one Tucker Tumborg. This engine is crazy. It's, it, this card by itself is full combo without using my normal summon. Uh, and if I have a PK, it's just full combo, uh, full stop. This card's not that worse of a brick just because the amount of wins in my deck. We got Levier, Happy, Terra Top, Wandering. It's just, it's pretty live. Uh, and if it's not, it's always just a good discard for Horus. Uh, speaking of which, Horus, we are maxed out on Imseti. And then we got the uh, one Duamatef and one Happy. Uh, I maxed out on the names except for Queb because it sucks. Uh, it's just great. I love pushing for game with these. It just really helps. Um, and then naturally I got three King Sucks. So why three King Sucks specifically? Because most lists I see play two. Yeah, most lists play two. You can play two, but honestly, I wanted to maximize on seeing them. Uh, drawing multiples like this and this is fine. This can bait out a Nash and if they ash you, you can just activate King Sock. And if they don't, you get another King Sock and you can draw a card. And then the second King Sock is just another discard. Or realistically, you can just keep it in hand because they're going to try and out the first one on their turn, and then on the crack back, you can just activate again, summon three monsters and attack the game. Uh, engine worked really nicely, except these two cards loved being in my hand, which really hurts uh, with the consistency of the deck. But it is what it is. Uh, and then for the non-engine, we played three, uh, 12 non-engine uh, with three nibs, uh, three imperms, three talents, and then uh, rounding out with uh, three super polys. Uh, I think this is really good. Uh, I didn't want to play Ash this format just because I don't want to play in the heater. Uh, this to dodge Talents. Also, Imperm's just a crazy card this format. Talents to help with going second. You know, if they go for an Apo and they use one negate, you can just use it uh, Talents to take their Apo. And it just works out really nicely. You can also take a Flamberge to turn off a lot of stuff. Like their ways of getting into their uh, Princess and their follow-up. Uh, and then Super Poly was uh, my niche little tech. Uh, it was alright. Uh, I'll probably be cutting it post list, um, but I think it worked out uh, pretty well. Just making the mud dragon to uh, help with targeting uh, protection. I, I saw guess. you summon a mud dragon, call wind, and then summon the tacker tom walk out of here, and that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's just free bodies. I uh, I use those two to make an sp. Uh, that way I can get the sp banish. It's just getting the bodies on the field. It's what you really need. But uh, mud dragon call wind to summon take, calling dark to play around to, like to support your pk combo. And then calling a uh, fire to stop my uh, opponent from princessing me. It all worked out really well. I like Mud Dragon. Uh, cool. And then, obviously, Guru is just great for the draw. What was your favorite card in the main deck? Favorite card in the main deck? Oh, that one's tough. I think the card that I saw the most uh, is uh, is Happy. 
it uh, un unfortunately it doesn't actually make me happy to see this card. Yeah. Uh, I think I hated this card. But uh, seriously, Should I think called it hatred. Yeah, yeah. true, true. Um, but honestly, uh, I like Terra Top the most. Every time, every time I opened a hand and it was just four random cards, and I saw a Terra Top, I was just instantly happy. This card is just insane. Mm. It never gets stopped because it never does too much, but it always just starts everything. So yeah, I really love that card. Mm. Uh, going on to the extra deck uh, for the links, uh, I played the best card in the deck straight up is Cherubini. Mm -hmm. it, it's protection. It sends level three for cost. It can't get in. It can't get re uh, responded to. It's just insane. It helps the uh, adventure cards to clear boards, plays around princess, everything. Uh, IP IP is great. It's fully end board to uh, make an SP. SP is pretty standard. It's such a great card. It's probably one of the best cards in the game. Uh, dark darks are also natural. It's just a way of link climbing, uh, taking a monster. It's just a two card uh, rusty access. And Rusty, of which you can just uh, get the access to uh, your PKs in Grave, your Fog Blades on Field. Surprisingly, a searchable input is pretty uh, pretty good, this one, uh, this format. Uh, that rounds it off for the uh, links. Uh, for the Xyz, for the rank 3s, we played uh, one Levier. This card's really good. It can, uh, it's two cards. Protects the, um, uh, the PKs from being banished when they leave the field because they're materials. Uh, it's a two card making SP. Uh, two Breaksword. Breaks what is needed. You play. You go through one for the combo, and then you use the other one to help with the OTK. Naturally, for the OTK, we're playing Raiders Knight Arc Rebellion. This card just gains a lot of attack and uh, attacks directly. Uh, for the Horus Engine, I played this to help play around Nib if I already have Engine, and if I don't have Engine, obviously I'm going to be playing uh, Zombie Vampire just to mill four and summon. This card's crazy. I had an interaction where I, uh, I didn't mill anything on my end, but I, my opponent milled an Ash, which was all I needed. Uh, so I just took the Ash Blossom and I used it as a level 3 to make uh, Cherubini. Uh, it was really good. Uh, then of course we got the one Zeus. Need to have it in the deck. There's a bunch of rank. Uh, there's a bunch of Xyz. It's just such a great card. And then to round it off, we got the uh, Garura and the Mud Dragon for the extra deck. Super high targets. Uh, so that was it for the extra deck. Uh, going on to the side deck. Uh, I played 3 Joel. Mm -hmm. 3 Joel is really good this format. Uh, it's it's all right against the Snake Eye. It's not really the best. I never sided in against it, but when you're going against the uh, Fire Kings, it really put in the work. <coughs> Just stopping them from getting the uh, actual Fire King engine going with like Island and stuff, it really helps. And they, they search a Poplar and you and you uh, draw them. It's just it's just really powerful. Uh, I played two Bells. Uh, Bell was really good this format. You could even uh, main deck it. I think post post YCS, I'm gonna be swapping out these Super Polys. Probably for Veilers and I'll keep Bells on the side, but I'll probably up this on up to three. I just think this one performed really well, just stopping stuff like Flamage and everything. Um, three Droplets. This card didn't get sided in too much. This one's mainly for the Rogue decks. It doesn't really hurt the Fire decks too much, uh, but I think you got to have it in there. Uh, three Cosmics. Cosmic is there. It, it banishes the IP. It helps against Floodgates. You can't really get Summon them in when you have this. Helps against Anti-Spell. Uh, and then if you're investing in the Fire King, you can... Uh, do this, banishing the island in the draw phase. Kind of just like stops a lot of their interactions. In which case, they bring back two and they search follow up, which is fine because you're just going to kill them because all they have after that is a princess pop, which is really just nothing, especially when you have Cherubini. Um, then I played three anti spell. Mm -hmm. Anti spell is a weird one. Uh, summon limit probably would have been better. I probably would play summon limit post YCS, but um, I think I was just going into it with. Uh, there's a lot of spells, especially in the Fire King. Uh, so. Anti-Spell just really puts in a lot of work sometimes. Obviously, they can play through it if their hand is nice enough, but uh, the problem with Summon Limit is because their fire decks are playing so many hand traps, obviously they're running cross out, and they typically side in one Summon Limit going second, uh, so that they can cross out calling Summon Limit. So that's why I wanted to play Anti-Spell, just to out that, and also turn off their cross out post, uh, post activation so that I can hand trap them, like Nib. Um, so that was really good. And then the uh, the final card in my side deck, card carries. I don't think I actually cited this in once, but I think you got to just gotta have it in there. Submersible carry aero shock. It's insane. Full combo. Uh, I'll read it out. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card. Inflict one hundred hull damage for each of your banished monsters. Max you're getting is like four hundred damage on this turn one. It's it, it's just really there for time. I think you just gotta have it though. So yeah, all in all, this deck performed really well. I think the matchup it has against Fire King and Snake Eye is just really nice, uh, as I could see throughout the weekend and how it performed. Uh, I love this deck, and I think I'll continue playing this one post it. 
and uh, hopefully the fight decks get banned and not this one. See so, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for the decklist, Mike. I hope to see you at more YCS's topping events in the future. Of course. I'll come for oceans. Right. Sounds good, man. See you there. Thank you.